A Kentucky fisherman says he was ordered to leave a lake where you can catch all the fish you want for a fee. The reason? He caught too many fish. Now the lake's co-owner is defending the decision. Valerie Chin reports. Trucker Ron Reardon says in his spare time he loves to fish. At Horseshoe Pay Lake, $20 buys you 12 hours of fishing with no limit. But on May 10th, he says he reeled in a problem. You stop the fish, I'm, I pay my fee. You are done here. Why am Period. I done? It's a it's, no limit lake. For you, it's a limit on you. Reardon posted this video on Facebook and it's gone viral with more than 40,000 views and about 1,000 shares on his page alone. I had 31 in my basket when he told me to leave after seven hours when I paid for a 12 hour ticket. Anything you want to say to the public? Because you advertise no limit and this man was limited. Well, the public's been tight, turning and changing their mind here lately. They've been coming back and siding on our side. Norman Pepper co-owns Horseshoe Lake. Pepper stands by his business partner's decision to kick Reardon out. We don't need 10 or 15 or 20 people coming in and catch 100, 150 fish and going out and selling them. Taking the pride away from these people, it's not going to happen. Then why advertise no limit then? Why well, we advertise no limit because that's what it is, no limit. We're under control over this. We can say yay or nay on it. The lake posted, for future reference, no commercial fishermen are allowed on the lake, and we reserve the right to refuse service to anyone, signed management. Reardon says he's not a commercial fisherman. I do not sell fish. I feed my family. I donate them to charity. I... Uh, give them to people who needs them. If you want to catch all you want to catch, a uh, pick up truckload, you give me tw uh, two dollars and a dime a pound, and you sit out there to hell freezing. Put a over. lemon on the fish. The owner in the video did not want to comment. Pepper says the lake was created as a family-friendly fishing spot, and he's hoping to put a sinker on this controversy. That's a problem. We it'll be straightened out. That was Valerie Chin reporting. The lake is open 24 hours a day and was open to fishing in the last year.